If you run an agency, a consulting or coaching or any other type of service-based business, this video is for you. Keeping a record of each and every client is fundamental for any business. However, if phone books could generate money, none of us would have to work ever again. So it's not so much about the number of contacts you have, but what you do with them. Instead of having a disjointed list of tasks across different apps, we can integrate everything into one organized system, like one-page CRM. So we're not only clear on what needs to be done, but also why and for whom. I can go into any contact and set a next action for them. For example, let's say I need to check in on this client in six months and find out how it's going for him. And done. I can also send this test to my Google Calendar or see my workload right inside my CRM. And that's a lot of calls for one day. Okay, I'll reschedule a few of them. And let me hide the rest of my tasks for later in the week. I don't need to see them all now. That's it, looks much cleaner. All of the tasks are sorted by urgency, so I can start from the top. Chris and Jill are two of my new prospects. Oh, by the way, I don't add contacts manually. Potential clients reach out to me on LinkedIn and ask them to fill out my discovery questionnaire. And once they do, all new contacts are created automatically with follow-up reminders. Since Chris and Jill are not my clients yet, I'll send them an introductory email first. I already have a template with a PDF side deck and a YouTube link with the personal introduction. When I'm sending multiple emails per day, templates save me a lot of time, but without losing the personal touch, which goes a long way. Jill has already replied to my email and she's interested in some of my services. Nice. From here, I can very easily set up a deal for Jill and populate it with the services she has requested. They're already saved in the CRM, including their prices and costs. Once I add them, a quotation email can be created with a simple click. It contains all of the necessary info and is ready to send right away. Done! That's it for now with Jill. I'll be waiting for her reply, so I'll set that as the next action. Let's go to the next contact. I can toggle my screen view to show two panels. On the left, I have my list of tasks for today, and on the right, the corresponding contact page. So Jane is already my client. As you can see, we have a lot of invoices on PayPal, but she recently moved her office to a new location. So I need to update the address on the invoice. I'll give her a quick call. Now I've spoken to Jane, updated her address, and we've agreed to touch base on a new project in three days. I'll set a reminder for myself. Next contact is Joe. I wanted to ask for an intro to JK, but I don't remember who JK is. Ah, let me see what we talked about in emails. JK is his business partner, that's right. Okay, I'll send Joe an email. He's in the US, so it's still quite early in the morning over there. I'll schedule the email for later. Oh, and here's an incoming email. Oh, Jill got back to me. Nice, she's happy with the total price. Okay, I'll start working on her order later today. I have different stages for my work process. First, we agree on the specifications, and then I work on the order. I send the completed work for their feedback, and once they're happy, I get paid. I can see that Robert's deal has been in the feedback stage for the last 10 days, but my PA Sarah is already on this. Sarah even has another follow-up reminder scheduled for herself. I'll leave her a quick note. All of my urgent tasks are done, but I have work in progress with three clients. I will check back on one page CRM after lunch. If you want to try it out for yourself, it has a 21 day free trial. Check out the links in this video or visit onepagecrm.com.